Hi and welcome to another two piece in a bucket inspired video. My name is Vilna Furstenberg. So today I'm going to be making a page using um, the cut files that I created for two piece in a bucket. Um, this one is called the deco heart or decorative heart and I printed the printables for May out uh, on watercolor paper and now I'm just going to lay the die cut over the page and paint it with gesso and I was inspired to do this with um, a video by a video that I saw from Celine uh, for National Scrapbooking Day so thank you Celine you were an awesome inspiration so just to make sure that the die cut does not move from the page I'm adding a little bit of Mod Podge to it and basically I'm just painting all over the watercolor paper now I used Photoshop and I um, just duplicated the 3x3 three three printables I made it a little smaller and I duplicated it on a 12x12 12 12 inch new file to get um, a 12x12 12 12 inch page filled with those little squares you can also print them out individually and um, cut them out and stick them down I think that would look super pretty as well and then I just did a cut with my silhouette and I, I used good quality thick paper and I did a double cut with it and that's why that heart looks so um, it cut beautifully because just because I did a double cut so now I'm using the inside part of the heart and I'm measuring it over a picture and in the end I used a different picture but that's a very easy way to get something to fit inside of the the middle it's just to use the middle and use it as a template I just want to show you how I made the background paper for this page so I want to open um, the printables so I'm just going to go into my not this one I want this one and I'm gonna use the JPEG file so this I want to use this one so I'm just going to drag it onto my Photoshop icon and there you can see the page so now I'm going to make a new page 12 inches by 12 inches 300 pixels per inch and I'm going to make it white and I'm going to skip to this one and I'm going to select my marquee tool uh, just let just see the marquee tool the rectangular one I'm going to select the whole page make sure that it's selected in the layers bin here and I'm gonna copy it control or command C and I'm going to go to my new one and paste it but now I want it a little smaller sorry I just duplicated it here I'm just going to delete that one so I'm just going to make it smaller and if you hold in shift you can move it and it will constrain the proportions if you don't this will happen so hold in shift and I'm just going to make it a little smaller and I'm going to go to the layer bin and click duplicate layer and duplicate layer so now I have three copies and I'm just going to select the move tool and move this copy here and this copy here and it looks like I might need another copy and I'm just clicking duplicate layer again and now I'm going to move this copy here and what I did is I actually just eyeballed the to see more or less um, how they should fit I didn't make it perfect so I'm just going to align this line a little by zooming in and otherwise it looks okay and 
I'm going to click flatten image in my layer bin and now you can see there's my page and I'm going to print it on my white format um, Epson R1900 it's an old printer but it works perfectly and I'm just going to select click print settings and in the paper size you want to select the 12 by 12 inch and I usually pick this one sheet feeder borderless because I print border to border but you can scale it down and I think I did mine to 97 percent just to create that little bit of a space around and now you can click print and like I said it I printed it on um, Canson watercolor paper that I bought at my local craft store and I bought a big pad that was um, 12 inch by 15 inches so it was perfect to print this page on and that's how easy it is to do it so I hope you try it and if you have any questions just leave me a, a comment so now my Mod Podge and gesso is dry and I decided to go with this photograph of my eldest girl Tia and it's really time to start taking new photos of my girls because Winter in Saskatchewan is quite brutal, so we can't go outside to take pictures. So most of my pictures I take during the fall and the spring and the summer. So I think it's time again. Um, now I'm taking gelatos and I'm just coloring it around the edges of my page. Uh, not the page, the die cut. And then I'm going to be using some water just to get that watercolor effect. And I'm going to keep on working with it until I'm happy with the result. So I'm not particularly careful around the edges because you'll see later on I take some thick acrylic paint just to get the white back of the die cut. And because I'm working on watercolor paper I can use a little bit more water than usual. On National Scrapbooking Day, I hosted a chat and one of the questions that a couple of people asked me was, how do you get a paper that buckles under the weight of the water um, to be flat again? And my answer was just to add lots of double-sided tape to your buckled page and just stick it down on a good quality cardstock that's straight. And that really straightens out a page quite well. So that's a, just a simple tip for you. You will also see in the final page that I added a little bit more apricot orange color to this page because it was just a little bit too pink for me. Um, and I think this, if you look at the mood board for May, this page is a very good um, representation of that mood board and it was quite easy for me to do it because I made the printables the, um, the background I used those the mood board colors right off the mood board um, with Photoshop to create the printables so now I'm just going to mount it on a light pink page and just cutting it a little smaller you can see I'm not particularly careful to make it a very straight cut and I'm going to mount it down with um, lots of double-sided tape on the back of and you can see I'm starting from one side and I'm working my way down to the other side and that way it really sticks down lovely just going to distress the edges a little and I'm just using two pieces of double sided tape to stick down the photo I'm adding um, just uh, three stickers to be very honest by the daydreamer sticker sheet by Lizzie, dear Lizzie and um, it's just to give it a little bit of a um, 
very subtle here and there and you can see I'm indenting it with my nail and I'm just cutting it around it the, the die cut there you go and I'm gonna add one more heart to the top just adding a splash of yellow in there and again I'm just cutting it with my craft knife and it looks like it goes underneath the die cut the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm taking some acrylic paint and I'm just gonna paint a little bit of the white back on the die cut and I'm doing this also with a little bit of a thicker paint and it will give a beautiful texture on the die cut so again you can see I'm not working super neat I try to stay on the die cut and um, I'm using a small flat brush and I'm just adding the paint just to get the white back on, on the die cut. I'm doing it as neatly as I can but um, I'm not a very very particular scrapbooker in that sense. I love the little accidents that happens when almost like when you least expect it those little serendipities that happens on a page so I asked my husband um, at this stage what does he think of the page and he said it's too pink and um, he's a man that lives with three women uh, three girls and, a, and, and me four women in a house so he knows that nothing can ever be too pink or too bling. But I tend to agree with him on this. And that, that's why I added um, a little bit of the apricot colored um, gelato. I just colored it and I didn't even use a lot of water with it. I just wanted to add that little bit of orange. And it, that really made a difference for me. And usually when I ask my husband, what does he think? And I'm annoyed by whatever he says. So I actually never ask him. But in this case, I followed his advice and it worked out for the best. So I'm stamping with a Heidi Swap ink and that lovely big roller stamp by Pebbles. And I'm just adjusting the words to say you shine and... It's quite a feat to get the, it spelled out. You have to turn a lot of knobs. But it's always worth it. And now I'm just adding a little bit of journaling in just in the mix of the stamp image. And I think I love the texture even that creates. It's not neat or tidy. It's a little messy. But I think it fits in with the page. I'm just using a plain Sharpie with a fine tip here. And to be honest, it was the only um, pen that I could find. <laughs> because everyone in my household steals my pens. So I think I should put a lock on my drawer. And... There you have the page. You can see in the final one um, how I added the orange or um, gelato just by coloring it a little. There you can see it. Thank you so much for watching this video and um, I will see you soon. Bye.